First thing you want to do is lift up what they call the floor step. These are little rubber grommets that basically you can just pull the rubber right out. You can remove it completely, which I wound up doing later. Now there's a plastic, I would call it a little plastic push down grommet or, or rivet, plastic rivet, that holds this cover in place. And basically what you want to do is kind of work this loose and remove the cover. And this is where you can gain access to the spark plug. So this cover allows you entry into the engine compartment. And again, it's on the left side of the bike. But any, as you can see, there's the, the spark plug harness right there, which you'll obviously remove. Once this is removed, you kind of push that out off to the side. And I have a long wrench that kind of more of a socket with an extender on it. And the actual um, spark plug uh, socket that I have is magnetized. Now I didn't, I could have taken it all the way out with this magnetized socket, but I didn't. I just, as you'll see, I did the rest by hand. But this is actually made for spark plugs, that socket that I have. And again, if I would have just kept twisting that loose, it would have eventually came out with the socket because it is magnetized. But there's the spark plug. And since I only had like a thousand miles on the bike, roughly a little bit over, it's not fouled too much. There's not much carbon on it, but I'm going to go ahead and clean it anyway. I don't have to replace it right now. But it, you'll see I'll have the specs on what spark plug it takes and where you can get it here shortly but not too much carbon. There's different ways you can clean it. You can clean it with a spark plug cleaner. Coke and salt <laughs> is another good method I've found, but I think my favorite is the blowtorch where you burn the carbon off the uh, spark plug itself. I don't have a blowtorch, so I'm not gonna do that method. I just used some brake cleaner basically and sprayed it, and then after I got it, after I realized, well, that's probably not gonna do it, I let it soak in the brake cleaner for a while. It was actually throttle body cleaner that I used. But anyway, I let this soak in the um, solution for about a couple hours until I realized it started eating through the plastic. Uh, <laughs> so then just take an old toothbrush or something to get it off there, the carbon. Um, I used actually a, I don't have a copper brush, but I'm gonna get one. So I had to find just a metal brush I had in there and it got most of the carbon off. This thing calls for replacing it every 8,000 miles, so it's gonna be a while. Clean it every 4,000 miles, it said in the manual. Remember to check the gap on the spark plug. Uh, this one call, I'll show you what it calls for here, right here. I think Partzilla was the best place I found, but shipping was like $10. Uh, Revzilla was out of stock, or maybe even your local dealer can get you one. Then you just put the spark plug back in, tighten it up, put the spark plug wire back on and the cover and then you're good to go. So if you have any questions, let me know below, but this was one of the easiest things to do. Remember, clean it at 4,000, recommended replacement at 8,000. So you, you have some time for this, but I just wanted to show you guys where it was hidden and um, it's a really easy process. A lot of stuff on this bike is very simple. So I hope that helped guys and until next time, see you later.